Hello guys, in this video we will look at creating cron groups. These cron groups will group together some crons and those crons will be run in a separate process. So let's have a look at the Magento documentation page in the cron guide and then you will have this custom cron jobs and cron groups reference. Now if we scroll down to the configure cron groups, this will detail how you create a cron groups and what's the benefit of it. So basically each crons will be grouped by one one group and this group will be run in a separate process so if you think of having a custom module or a custom cron and that need to be run in a separate process then you will create a cron group and you assign that cron to that group and in this way those crons will not overlap so they cannot block each other and they cannot overlap on each other and they will run safely not a hundred percent safely because Crons are always prone to errors or sometimes to system failures and this is why you can't say a hundred percent but this is very good procedure to have it and it will make it a lot easier on the process on the system to run each cron groups in the separate processes so this is the idea behind the cron groups and to configure one you just need this inside the cron group and the, we will go in, into this example in a minute so if we go to the uh, code base now we have from the last tutorial we have the cron example and if we look at the cron tab we created so most of the crons are uh, sits within the default group so you specify the group id and it's default and this cron will run on the default so these always go within the default group but there will be also a index group and default group so if we look at the if we search for cron groups in the cron group in the, in the code base then we will get this one and this is index and some of the crons are assigned to index and this is how you create a cron group and it will sit inside the module name etc folder now let's have a look on how we create one so basically I don't want to go through how to create or write the crons so basically we just go to the folder and this is the folder we copy one so we just copy the cron groups file and then place it here in our etc module from the last tutorial now now we have this cron groups but we will name it training and then these are exactly the same processes so I don't think we need to change any of these except if you have a certain requirements uh, it doesn't mean anything to change them for uh, the training purposes but this how we, we explain it so for schedule generate every this how often in minutes these crons assigned to training will be written to the table to sh show you the table if we go to local and and then training magento training or magento site we have so this is magento site and then we look at the schedule just type for schedule cron schedule and then you will see those now this is the job code uh, i think i just need to expand it here and the schedule id the schedule code and then you have the status whether run is successfully or pending which means waiting for the next process to run and then run the cron and then the messages if there is any error messages and then created a scheduled at executed at and finished at now every time so schedule generate every every minute write the cron into the table so to make it more uh, understandable to you if we go to the cron tab instead of having the cron the group id as default we'll just make it as a training and once you create a training then this will run for this group settings so every time this cron example will be written to the database so that's how this is how this works so let's go here now scheduled ahead for this will say how long in minute in advance that schedules are written to the cron job so you have one minute and then you have four minutes ahead so bef every minute you write the the system will write the schedule or the cron into the table but before that minute is being hit before that in four minutes will be written so we'll write it actually four minutes before schedule so that's the explanation of this schedule ahead for the schedule lifetime is two minutes after two minutes so the cron here when it's written here it will wait for two minutes if it doesn't run then it will be missed if it runs within the two minutes then that's fine the status after was either failure or success but before on this stage the every and four will be pending and when pending it will wait for two minutes if it runs then it will just run if it not if it doesn't run then it will be missed 
missed because it just wait for two minutes if it doesn't run then that's it is done now the history clean up every this will clean up every 10 minutes however we have those also the history success lifetime will be kept for 60 minutes one hour for success and the one hour and then will be deleted will be cleaned out from the database because this will grow very large database so we have uh, magento will have to clean up the records that is expired they will be expired after for this group after 10 minutes if they are success will be after 60 minutes if they are failure so failed crons will be cleaned after three days now this is the important part use separate process you say one then it will be run in a separate process but if i put it zero it won't run in a separate process so whatever process is in there it will run it so it will be like for example you have one process and runs everything and if you place a few this as zero then it will just keep it on the same process and doesn't spawn or doesn't create another process for this and this will be this group will be meaningless because you only create this group to have it to run the crons in the separate processes so you place it always one when you create one when you create a group and then with this group then any custom crons you have in any custom module you just assign this group so we just go ahead here and then run php image cache flush config because we change the config and the config here is etc and then since we cleared out the config now we change the cron tab from default to training and now we need to run it just to make sure it's going to work and 98 sys cron run and here we go it is runs and then it's done if we go to the system we still have the same log files because this is just a useless it just log text into the log file and doesn't do anything and we have it here in the system log and this means the cron group just running fine and the cron tab runs fine within the training cron group i think this is it please like and subscribe if you like the video and i'll see you next time